Time now for our Bloomberg Quick Take, where we provide context and background on issues of interest. The auto industry seems to be hurtling headlong into an era when cars drive themselves. It may sound futuristic, but parts of it are already here. The robots are easing us out of the driver's seat bit by bit. Here's the situation. Earlier this year, U.S government proposed spending $4 billion over 10 years on research and infrastructure to promote driverless cars. In September, the government laid out a regulatory path for automakers to win approval for putting them on the road. Automakers and technology companies are partnering up in order to make this a reality. Google and Fiat Chrysler are teaming up to develop about 100 self-driving minivans, while BMW is collaborating with Intel and Mobileye. GM is investing in Lyft and is developing a fleet of robots taxis. Here's the background. The dream of a self-driving car first appeared in the pages of science fiction and then in the General Motors Futurama display at the 1939 World's Fair. Consumers got their first taste of autopilot in the 1990s when automakers began offering adaptive cruise control. Google accelerated the pace of development by logging more than 2 million miles testing its driverless cars on Silicon Valley roads. Here's the argument. There are a few laws on the books requiring drivers to keep their hands on the wheel because no one imagined that would ever be an issue. More broadly, there is the ethical dilemma of turning over decision-making power to a robot in a life or death situation. The question of liability also remains unanswered. Automakers do have to yet design a connected car as well that can't be hacked. That raises security concerns and dystopian scenarios of robot cars run amok. Yet to US regulators and others, driverless cars could save thousands of lives since driver error is blamed in 94% of crashes.